How are you? Because you were speaking behind me without any understanding the subject. I didn't sub understand the subject. You're yeah. about hell, but hate, hate. Hate and yeah. hell. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what we're talking about, the, 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 he was trying to negate that God mm. hates some people, but in the Bible clearly said he hated someone. That's what was my point. Yes, but then again, that's why you have people studying the Bible to understand in the context of times that it was written. Yeah, but the Jewish people accept God hate people. I don't, I'm not Jewish, so yeah, I but the Old Testament, to them. Yeah, but the Old Testament for Jewish people. Yes, but I'm not Jew. I'm yeah, so, so, so when I go to, to, to the Old Testament, mm -hmm. who should I go back to to understand it? To you or to the Jewish people? Well, I would say us, because we understand the whole revelation. But Jewish people, they say it's them, because it was given to them. They can say whatever they want, I don't need to accept that. Yeah, but the Jewish, they can tell you, you say whatever you want, we don't accept you. Say whatever you want, you're a free person. Anyway, you believe Jesus to be God? Yes. Is God perfect all the time? I would say the way we understand it. Yes. What do you mean? Do we, of course, the way we understand it, the tree, how we understand it, we're talking me and you. The way we understand God is perfect. So in my opinion, yes. No, God, God is not in need of nothing. He's self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Yes. yes. Yeah. So you believe God become a baby? Yes, he took a human form. He had a, we believe that he was both God and both human. So, so he never, he never relinquished his godly power. So when he was inside the woman, that was yes. God as well? Yes, but you have to understand that godly reality and human reality in Christianity are two different things. God no, no. lives outside of time. So he was not inside, the mothers were... He was. So was he inside or outside? You don't understand. For us, the God has double nature. He's a true God and true human. I'm not asking you. And was God inside the Mary's womb? Yes. He was inside. Was he outside? Yes, he was born. Yes. So the key thing is human. No, no, before, when he was nature, inside, yes. that God was inside. That was God inside. Huh? In his human nature form, yes. But it he, was told me was, he told me it was God as well. No. God exists outside of time and our reality. So even though he was in human form, he did not relinquish his godly nature as well. And okay. Faith nature as well. And okay. Faith exists outside of time, outside of physics, space. Let me repeat the question. Yeah. When Jesus was inside the baby, yeah. that was Jesus. Sorry. Was that God as well? Well, he is a God, but it doesn't mean that he, his godly nature is physically there. You understand? So he wasn't God? He was God, yes. Because so he was inside the woman? God. So. That's what I'm saying. So when he was inside Mary, he was God and a man at the same time. Yes, but we need to have some understanding of how we look at it. Because you try, I, I, I'm explaining to you. Bro, did Jesus speak like you? He's both human and both God. And, this, and so he was God. So that Jesus, mm -hmm. the baby Jesus, yes. he, that was inside the Mary's womb, he was God and a man at the same time. Yes. So Mary was bigger than him. Of course not, because God has no size. He doesn't understand. If he has no so size, how is, how is inside the, uh, the, the, the mother, the womb? That's what I'm explaining you, because he had he took up dual nature. So he was, he, he did, took human form, but he did not relinquish his God's yeah, nature. This ring, this ring is inside the, the bottle, yeah? Yes, it is. This ring, yeah? But this, God is no, but this ring is not a godly No problem, God. no problem. The baby Jesus, yeah. when he was inside Mary's womb, yeah. was that God or not God? He was God, yes. So he's inside where Mary's womb? Jesus, yes. He's, as he has dual form. Right? Yeah, as he's God. As, God form was there, yes. as a man and as a God was inside. He, I, I answered this question seven No, you know, you answer. No, no, you know. Yeah, riddles. You're just playing with riddles. No, no, it is riddles. It is riddles. It's a riddle. It's a riddle. Because why? I'm explaining that you're trying. No, you to, he says, he says trying. yes, then he says there, but it's outside time. Okay, you're trying to apply human logic and human physics. Human logic? What are we going to apply? So outside, you... outside physics, outside time. So he was not inside because the marriage more womb is physics, inside physics. It's he a human body. He was, yes. I'm telling you, he has dual nature. No. This is the explanation in Christian theology. So, uh, just You're yes or no? Just yes or no? Go, Jesus as a baby. Yeah. He was a baby and a God at the same time. Yes. And he was inside Mary. No, Jesus was inside Mary. Yes, so God was inside Mary. That depends how you put it. Look, he's playing around. He's telling me. No, what do you mean how you put mean? it? So as a, that, he was not Simple question. If Jesus as a baby was a God and a man at the same time, mm -hmm. that baby, it was God and a man at the same time. It was not two different beings. It was one being inside has two nature. Was yes, inside two natures. No, but God is not restricted by 
busy. So he was not inside. Wait, wait, wait. So he was not inside the bank. He was everywhere. Inside care, outside care, everywhere. God is everywhere. So he was. So, he, so, was uh, everywhere. he was everywhere. Yes. So every human is God and a man at the same time. No, we all live in God. Uh, take care of yourself. Alhamdulillah for Islam. <laughs> Look after yourself. That's why Christians become Muslim. It doesn't make any sense. He knows it doesn't make any sense by just playing with words. Just what because, you're saying. Because if because Jesus... You like the answer. If, <laughs> because you thought you had the you answer. point and, you, and it didn't work. Bro, you keep contradicting yourself. Huh? You contradict I yourself. contradict myself. Okay. Did Mary know that she, was, she had God inside her? Yes. Show me in the Bible says that. She was told. Show me in the Bible. I don't, I am Catholic, I don't, uh, Bible is not the only source of revelation to me. Ah, so the Bible, where is the other source? Uh, apostolic tradition. Apostolic, so it says that Mary, she knew she was carrying a God. Yes. So, okay, how come she never prayed to Jesus? She well, prayed to the How do you know she did, she didn't, she prayed to God, she prayed to God. Yeah, as a Catholic you pray to Mary, you pray to Mary as well. I don't pray to Mary. I asked you, her to pray for me. Yeah, you prayed to her to pray for God. No, I asked her, like I would ask you to pray for me. So Did you doing to Mary? So you asked Mary, what yeah. do you say? Because my wife is a Catholic and left it. Yeah, Mary. So don't lie to me, I know. Pray for us sinners now. What do you say? Time of our death, for example. You ask Mary. Mary, pray for us. Mary, Mary can't do anything for Did Jesus in the Bible say, Mary, pray for me? Or he said, pray to Father directly? Why would you say that? Okay, you follow Jesus or who you follow? Huh? Who do you follow? See, the Christians, they will follow Jesus, uh, George Michael, Michael Jackson, everyone they will follow. I follow God did Jesus, the people who gave us examples did, to follow God. Did Jesus pray to the Father sons. or pray to Mary? Why would he? What are you talking about? She was not God, why should... I did ask you, did Jesus pray to the Father directly? Yes. So he did pray to Mary? Yeah, nobody prays to Mary. He never asked Mary to pray for him? We pray to Father directly. How do you know he never because he taught you how. He said, Oh Father who is in heaven, forgive us. He never said, Oh Mary, yeah, ask only, Father. We only know a very small part of the Well, I, you know, you know uh, so we don't know. So maybe Jesus said to worship God. And, Jesus does not need to ask anybody. Okay, how do you know Jesus never said, I'm not God? Maybe in other scriptures he said, I'm not God. I don't know. So, yeah. how do so you know, know sure. that there are no dwarves? Are you know, sure then. How do you know that there are no dwarves? So, because you told me Jesus said many things we don't know, correct? Mm -hmm. So how do you know from that teaching, from the teaching that Jesus because said, we we're don't know? Back to the roots of faith. We have so you just blind follow. the word of God and we believe it's true, same as you believe that Quran is true. Anyway, let's go back to the points here. That's the, that's the point. Oh, that's the point. That's the believing part. Okay. Quran you know, you know, is also do, for do you know why it's paradox? You know why it's paradox? Yes. Where is paradox? What paradox? Huh? Paradox, for example, if you say God become a baby, that's paradox. It's not a paradox. Okay. Is a baby created? Yes. Is God created? No. So how someone is any created become created? A tall short man, does that make sense? Okay, he was conceived. It, like I said, it was his human form again. He became a baby. You're, you're, you're again trying to... It's a paradox, that's what I'm saying. No, it's not a paradox. Okay. Is God self-sufficient? Yes. Yes, yes. When he became a baby, his mother, she breastfed him. So he was in need of food. He cannot be the same God who is self-sufficient. Simple, logical, okay, rational he's still way. God, so he can, for example, create food for him if he wanted to. There you go. So he's in need of food. I think he's human form because he took the human form. What's what's so confusing about this? I so understand. if he takes a human form, yes. therefore he's restricted and to human nature. He's human form. Yeah, to human form. But it's only because he's restricted by physics. He's not in his godly nature. Ah, oh, brother, take care of yourself. Well, alhamdulillah. <laughs> This, this bro is laughing, the brother. Well, I laugh, Akhi, laugh. No, I, I will tell people stop laughing, but laugh, Akhi. Well, lie is a joke. Well, lie is a joke. He said God is not restricted by any physics, but he become human being, which is human nature to be restricted. Like, well, come on, man. Alhamdulillah for Islam. Islam, simple way. God who is perfect. He created the creation. He trusts people amongst us. He told him to convey the message to worship God alone. Simple. simple. Is not necessarily true. No, simple means that God who created us. He, huh? You want confusion? It's confusion, it's truth. No, it's not confusion. You, you want confusion? Really study a little bit more. Study what? God became a baby, someone changes nothing. No, Catholic theology, if you want to discuss it, because obviously you don't understand it. And you try to no, I, I don't want to understand it because and why? And even it was for the discussion, just creating some gotcha points, trying to catch me with some little logical tricks. So I can see. Alhamdulillah is logical yeah. tricks. Alhamdulillah yeah. is logical. I showed you. You showed me what? That God became baby. Does not apply. No, you just showed me that as a Christian, you have turned off your brain. That's what you showed me. What I showed you? You showed me as a Christian to believe in Christianity, you have to turn off your brain. 
Don't use your brain. That's what you just showed me. Uh, I think because Christianity is a bit more complicated, you have to use it. You said that Islam is yeah. Sin, so I think it's easier. God become a brain. baby and someone changes nappy. So is a, again, your logic is a bit faulty. Yeah. No, it's not because the logic of you, God, was beaten up by the Romans. Yeah. He said, "Yes, yeah, right, God, take care of yourself." He just admitted God was beaten up by the Romans. Yeah, he was flogged. What's what's? Uh, God was flogged. I'm free from your belief, and you free my belief. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Wow. Well, this guy, well, I'm free. On the camera, he said, God was, imagine God, the Almighty, was getting beat up by the Romans. He said, yes, look. May Allah heal you. Let's Take care of yourself. <laughs> he was getting beat up because he loves us. What logic is that? God getting beat up. So therefore, God be, has less power. The humans are more powerful than him. Well, like Christians become Muslim, Alhamdulillah. Did you come every Sunday to use you for Christians to become Muslim? Muslim. No, no, I want to use you for the Christians who have a sound reason to accept Islam. Uh -huh. Because the fact that on the camera you said God was beaten, getting beaten up, that doesn't make any sense. Alhamdulillah for Islam. Alhamdulillah. No, no, for the Christians out there who are sincere to know Christianity as a preacher standing here, you are. Where, where you are? Tourists, sir. Well, I don't come back, brother. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Poland. Poland, nice. But like, except Islam, worship God alone. No, never. Except you never say never, you know? No, I'm saying that. Yeah, don't go. Huh? You never know. You become. I, I, I met people that they said never, they become Muslim. Yeah, you know, people make mistakes. Huh? Alhamdulillah for Islam. <laughs> worship God. You know, Moses never believed Jesus to be God. Nowhere in the Old Testament. Look what this here. Look logical way. Rational. Mm -hmm. Moses, Abraham, Noah, Jacob, Isaac, Jeremiah, Daniel. All of them say worship one God. God is not a man. In the Old Testament, God is not a man. The Christian, God become a man. Muslim, Prophet Muhammad came. God is not a man. So Prophet Muhammad goes in line, alayhi salatu wasalam, with the teaching of the prophets and messengers. So the first prophet, according to Christians, who is he? Jesus. Revelation no. does not end with Old Testament, but with New Testament. No. So understanding of the Old Testament. No, no. The Old Testament never teach God is a man. Teach God is not a man. So therefore, the Old Testament was lying, or the New Testament is a lying? Which one was lying? None of them are lying. How? Go in the Old Testament, God is not a man. In the Old Testament, uh, in the Old Testament, all the prophets and messengers, God is not a man. In the New Testament, God is a man. Prophet Muhammad came, God is not a man. So therefore, the New Testament is a pagan book. The Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of Allah because he said worship Allah alone and they worship no one beside him. Where, where does the Old Testament come from? What times? Before Jesus or after? That's my point, even before yeah. Jesus. No, not yet. That's before prove my Jesus. point. So he was prove my point. Lord when the Old Testament was written. So what kind of argument is that? But after Jesus was God before that. He was always God. He says yeah, so he's the, one, he's the one who tricked you. He said he's not a man, then he became a man. He tricked you then. <laughs> How he trick? You? He said God's not a man. He said, God's not a man. Jesus, according to your belief, the God that said God's not a man is Jesus. Then he tricked people, he became a man. According to you, which doesn't make any sense. You know, the fact that you Sorry, said... you're saying according to me. None of the things you're saying are according to me. You, it's, it's I just remember I put a ring inside. I just remember. But anyway, alhamdulillah, you know what I would say to you? Deep down, you know what you said doesn't make any sense. But because you have some psychological think I guess Islam is arrogance or looking down upon the Arabs, you're looking for any a, a, a silly excuse to reject Islam. You, you can't care off because you're very manipulative. So I'm not manipulative, alhamdulillah. I say worship God alone. <laughs> for example, you're giving me this little pep talk, you know, trying to work not, me. You know, I'm not saying you that. I, you know, I want good for you. I want good for you as a human being. Tell you to worship God. We're just talking here. Bro, I'm, I, you know what I'm doing? I'm showing you many points which every human being with sound reason and agree with it. It goes and gets your belief. So you no... I'll find you hundreds of people here who would say gotcha arguments against Quran. Look there. Right? Listen, what's your name? So I didn't catch your name. Arthur. Arthur, yeah, my name is Shamsi. Arthur, you will never find any Christians here who has objective, objective criticism against Islam. Never. Right. Never. Point. That's your point. But all the Muslims have objective criticism against Christianity. Which is, God is perfect, has no beginning, no end, he's the all-powerful, and he became big, someone beat him up, only doesn't make any sense. He's got all-powerful all the time. So when he was getting beat up by the Romans, was he the same one who was all-powerful? Yes, he was all-powerful. And he was getting beat up? Yeah, if 
Take off yourself. Take off, Allah. May Allah help you, man. Right, may Allah. Anyway, my brothers and sisters, you know, to, the, to, to recap, he said God is all powerful all the time. When he, when he was getting beat up, he was all powerful as well. All powerful means no one can overpower him. He overpowered everyone by the outcome of Christianity. Alhamdulillah, you know. Alhamdulillah. Wallahi, people should become Muslim, worship God alone. Christianity doesn't make any sense. God become a baby, someone changes nappy. Are you going to ask? Say again.